Paul, can you describe, because this is a book festival filled with people that love good writing, can you describe a little bit about later in the sense that you use what you've described as almost prose poems in certain parts of the book? Well, it's a book that wants to keep um, reinventing itself according to form. I think there are parts that move like essays in which there's an emphasis on the speaker's thinking and interpretation. And then there are parts that feel really narrative that, that echo the work of fiction. And then there are parts that feel as concentrated and image-centered as as poems do. So I wanted to, the book to keep changing shape and to, you know, not do that in a way that was distracting or um, confusing to the reader, but to find the right form for, for the material at, at any given moment. So it's, you know, it's, it's a book that, that's in part super sad, but it's all, there are parts that are, that are really, really funny. It's, it's an animal that keeps, that keeps changing. It's never static. And um, that seemed to echo, to my mind, what life felt like then. Um, yeah, the intensity, the prospect of all of that mortality just amped everybody up. Um, yeah because you never knew whether, you know, the, the guy you talked to at the supermarket on Tuesday would, would be okay um, a week later. Right. AIDS often took people really immediately. They would, you know, they would be able to control their illness for a long time, you know, suppress it through meds and then you know, come down with an opportunistic infection and then that person will be gone. 